So since we're in the sanity maintenance program, or you psychoanalyze me, why do my bir birthday parties look like gay conventions? Like, why are 90% or more of my friends gay men? With, with those oh. earrings, I guess. Like. <laughs> and the hair. These were made by a woman. Okay, what with the big hair? Yeah, this was made. Actually, my hair is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, so you're saying I look like a gay man? <laughs> you dress like a gay man. is the marketing manager of Blued, one of the largest gay social apps in the world. And Alan Carrion is in the XCOM of Babaylanes Incorporated. Well, I can tell you that I always get called sir. Uh, I used to understand, you know, if you order um, for, for, from, from a fast food, mm -hmm. of course you're going to get called sir because I have a deep voice. But then, you know, I went to a movie ticketing um, booth, yeah. booth and I said, um, I'll, I have two tickets to the 3pm screening. And he said, yes, sir. I said, do I look like a guy to you? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's in the demeanor. Maybe it's also a power thing that I look like I'm going to beat him up. So, <laughs> Hence, you deserve to be called a sir. Sir, okay. So, but why does Jessica have all... Yeah, why are all my friends Bex? <laughs> because you don't come across as threatening or you don't fit, I guess, like, um, the stereotype of someone who would discriminate. A gay man. Well, that's that's flattering, but yeah. that's probably not the only reason. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, or maybe we all just have the same interests. Oh, yeah. yeah. People named Chris. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when people talk about love, the words crazy, obsessive, and mad always come up. Um, you would think that with billions of potential mates, people would be a little more sane about you know the dating search. But then, it's not. And online dating was supposed to make it more um, rational. But um, is, is, is this what's going on? As in, what is today's dating scene for gay people like? I think it's basically easier to find potential dates. But it's also easier to um, ghost people and not show up mm. as well. Okay, for the benefit <laughs> of our older audience, what is ghost? So basically, when you start dating someone and eventually you disappear. <laughs> I just disappear on someone. Yeah, you disappear that's on ghosting. someone. So that's called ghosting. With a lot of people, like the options out there that um, social media has offered. So people feel that they have more options when it comes to dating. Mm -hmm. Unlike before, that you get to set, be set up by someone like a friend or a friend from mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. Like now, you can actually look for more people online and look for potential dates. So Alan, you've tried traditional dating where you were set up by friends mm -hmm. and you've tried dating by app where basically you swipe until you see somebody yeah. who interests you and which one works for you? Both actually. Um, I don't really have a preference but uh, I think in terms of what you want, uh, like if you just want a quick hookup, there's the app. But if you want something a bit more... So would you say that apps are more for um, hookups and... Um, uh, dating is more with uh, for, for what, looking forward to something permanent. Most of the time. I mean, I'm not saying that going the app way means you will never find true love there because I have met people. Do you know anyone always... who has? I do. Yeah, I do. I know someone who's been in a very yeah. long relationship with someone they met online. Okay. Yes, but I think it's also how you manage the relationship because obviously, even with traditional dating, people split up. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, but so what are the disadvantages? Like, um, because, because if if you date by app, it's entirely possible that people post pictures oh, and yeah. histories yeah. that are not their own. And there's really mm -hmm. no way to, to make sure that you're dating the person in the app, right? Yes. yes. 
I think it's easier like when you di- um online at least you can research about the person before you actually get to meet them like offline like um in the real world quote unquote um someone has to vouch for that person if the person is not a serial killer or I don't know <laughs> like someone how crazy. do you not know the person <laughs> I don't know, know. If, if you search for someone how do you know that the person is not a serial killer well, at least I don't think your google like... search will tell you this guy is a serial killer well I don't know but maybe when you AI can, rules you the world yeah. then AI can tell <laughs> perhaps maybe but then um, a recent survey that you showed me said that millennials gay millennials particularly are now um, inclined towards monogamy and I thought one of the perks of being gay was you don't have to yeah. be monogamous <laughs> so what is this what is this new trend I guess like when um, maybe like decades ago when sex was more of a political statement like the more sex you have the more that you assert your liber- <laughs> liberal values I guess mm-hmm. in a way so now like um, the LGBT community is becoming more accepted so um, people are starting to veer towards I guess the, the norms that um, have well, been set well, up by I the Well, I for one people. feel cheated because my generation we were told that if we ha- went out and had sex we're all going to get AIDS so isn't yeah. AIDS uh, uh, an issue anymore? As in everyone is going out and hooking up aren't they afraid to? It probably still is but there's a little bit more education going around now. Yeah, and also we see people with HIV leading exactly. normal Especially lives. Especially with the medicine that we have nowadays. Exactly. Like, um, you can lead very normal lives yep. if you get treated and you're not also infectious mm-hmm. if you're undetectable. So that's one of the recent um, things that was announced by the WHO. But of course, there's a an economic um, dimension to that. I think yeah. that's a bit of a privilege also I'd say it from is, the middle I class think. especially since I think recently if I'm mistaken uh, the government is like pulling out it's currently being sponsored by PhilHealth exactly yeah. but, but I think they're looking at pulling it out and, yeah. and so that, that kind of sucks because uh, obviously the middle class and upper you know upper class will be able to still afford these the meds but a lot of the people affected are also from the, you know, from the uh, DE, CDE, you know. But doesn't that apply with the LGBT community as well? I mean, the ones who are in the upper socioeconomic exactly. classes are less discriminated than the ones who are That's true. trying to struggle. That's true. Um, with these findings on um, the monogamy being on the rise, does mm-hmm. this mean that the hookup culture is coming to a close? I don't exactly. think so. <laughs> um, I think though it's it's the it, technology that's kind of um, changing the landscape. I mean, a few months back, I've had some discussions with friends about about why the Malate culture kind of like died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, right? Because, yeah. Uh, I think uh, Malate, uh, which is right now if you go there, there's like which bakery. we all miss. It's Korean town. Yeah. It's Korean <laughs> town with bakeries and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, but I think. Malate thrived at a time when you know uh, people, the LGBT community found a place to have a, you know, a sort of a safe haven. Yeah. Where, so where, where is that can... safe haven now? Online. Online, exactly. <laughs> because before you can't really go. You know, it's hard to find dates. And even if there was some internet at the time, you know, you only have like I- IRC. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was expensive. <laughs> exactly. So people go there, meet people. They wanted to hook up, but uh, but of course, there's always the the danger or risks of you know going out there especially for people who, who aren't out of the closet and then so right now the news is all about the the soji equality bill mm-hmm. is that right so you say yeah soji. Soji. so what is that soji is sexual orientation gender identity and expression so we're pushing for um a bill that will prevent discrimination of the lgbt community like at the congress level um it has already passed, but I think they're still interpolating, like at the Senate, the Senate level. level. So that's one of the because things. Certain, yeah. you know, certain creeps are trying to block it. But <laughs> uh-huh. then, um, then here's to you, yeah. creeps. <laughs> and, um, yes, and since you know we've already started with the definitions, a lot of people still do not know the difference between trans and gay. They assume that. That that mm-hmm. that all gay men want to be women and all gay women want to be men. So yeah. please enlighten them once and for all. Well, that's basically your soji, yeah. sexual orientation and versus gender identity and expression. 
um, at a high level, I mean, we could go on for we, we do actually full workshops for this, but mm-hmm. at a high level, uh, gay, uh, you know, it's more uh, sexual orientation, yeah. uh, meaning uh, it's what you're attracted to. Yes. Whereas uh, gender identity and expression is more of how you identify or what what you are basically. So you can be you can be a uh, gay, but you can be a gay man, but you still identify uh, from a gender perspective as a, you know a, a man, a, a, a traditional. Let's call it traditional because yeah. I, I, gender is still a. Uh, <laughs> I, it's a it's a what for me it's a cultural. Uh, construct mm. gender is a cultural but yeah um, so you can be gay but still identify as a you know a straight acting guy or, or somebody who doesn't want to be a woman or but then they're like there's like uh, Caitlyn Jenner yeah who I would classy or or even um, Angela Angel oh Angela yeah. who is like uh, you know they, they identify as women but they're still but attracted still to women to, to, to women so uh, there's probably more like trans lesbian yeah something. so it's 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 it seems complicated, but it, you can boil it down to sexual orientation is what you're attracted to versus gender identity, which what you, what you are, what, what you are. Yeah. And and you personally do not want to be a woman. No. And you personally do not want to be nope. a woman. <laughs> I am Definitely happy with not. my parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but yeah. the skincare range oh, yeah. for women yeah. is so much wider. Although that is true. Skincare for men is really catching up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so. While we're on the subject, in the Philippines, because we have we have a supposedly macho culture, mm. a lot of macho guys are wary of gays kasi kayo daw ng mga bakla, mumolestre ninyo sila. Oh, Is this okay. true? <laughs> Do you lust after um, macho guys? Kasi ba, yung uh, people working in an office, you know, they're, they're straight men, they find out that one of their co-workers is, is bakla and it's like, yeah, and they think that, you know, they're going to be jumped at any minute. If they're cute. <laughs> but, no, but we won't but molest. No, no, no. We won't molest. I mean, but we can lust after in our minds. In your mind, yeah. yes. No, but yeah, uh, um, it's it's no different than you know uh, a guy uh, or or a girl, you know, thinking that everybody's gonna lust after her just because she's a girl. So um, I think that that is really just just bullshit. Um, but didn't the president of this country just say that? rape incidents in Davao were high kasi maraming magaganda sa Davao. <laughs> I don't want to go viral. Yeah. No, no, but seriously though, yeah, I mean that, that that that's part of the point. Um it's not it's it's not about uh, well, good to the rape part. It's not we know rape is not really about attraction. Sex. It's about power. It's, it's power. about power. Yes. power. And I think maybe that kind of goes into that whole macho thing you were talking about also that you know they 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 think that just because somebody is gay they're gonna you know molest them it's probably yeah, you don't want to get into a dark alley with mm. that guy's gay. exactly oh. but I, and I think it's more of I think they're threatened by that power imbalance that you know uh, this this is a, this is a gay guy and you know they, they like yeah for instance remember um, s- uh, several years ago when um, th- when there were those billboards of rugby players in their underwear and the ones who were offended were straight guys what was that what was their problem with you know nice bodies and they're threatened either they're threatened <laughs> or they're scared of what it means for you them. cannot level up the standards to that <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like oh my god that's what we have to compete with yeah. now. take those billboards down I, that's how that's how, how it, my it, wife it, will think a man is supposed to look like that that's, that's how I interpret it. I always interpreted it as take it away because I might, you know, I might find something re- out, discover find out something about, about my myself. inner self. Exactly. Yes. Oh, and in the Philippines, it's very common for a self-professed straight man to have a relationship with a gay benefactor. It's in um, coffee, guys. This is Gamba. Where's what was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> So, in the Philippines, it's very common for a self-professed straight man to have a relationship with this gay benefactor, but then deny that he is gay. So, is it possible for people to have relationships with people of their own um, gender and be straight? Gender is fluid. <laughs> That's one, gender is fluid. And uh, again, it goes back to your identification. No? Yeah. Because if you still I feel like you identify as a straight man, then that's how it goes 
Uh, but a lot of the times also there's the again the economic dimension to it. So. Gay for pay. Yes. Yeah. Are there any studies on um, on what part of the economy is supported by the gays for pay? <laughs> well, um, probably about eighty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any studies. Siyempre pa nagpapaaral ng mga malalaking pamilya. Magpapatustos lang. <laughs> Kita. Uh, um, honey, I have it's tuition time, so I gotta go get a <laughs> but, white bread. You know, <laughs> yeah, for instance, um, the epitome of macho culture in the Philippines, complete with bugbugan, suntukan, whatever, is basketball. Mm. And yet, you know, we know that, um, for instance, a basketball player has been linked to vice ganda and other. And, 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 and we can basically look at basketball games even at the collegiate level yeah. as like a dating catalog you know for gay people what do you think of that um it sounds uh awful but it's <laughs> but it's true i would say it's probably true yeah i've uh, heard people complain that that eh, rubber shoes lang eh. I... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's almost as if you know um a gay man with a famous straight boyfriend that's kind of a status symbol exactly like having an Hermes bag exactly so, on the other side of the spectrum movies and TV now decree that for a woman to be cool she has to have a gay best GBA. friend uh-huh. yeah. uh, GBF yeah. and so um, how does it feel to be a handbag <laughs> well, I was reading a study about that recently that said that um, yeah, what is women, women prefer gay men because they're not um, sexual competition and like if you're friends... Of course you're sexual competition. Well, what if, you know, in, in what if we both meet Chris Evans and then Chris <laughs> Evans thinks you're cuter than Or you're bisexual. Uh, which is true actually, so... I guess it's competition when you're eyeing a bisexual man, but um, generally women don't feel threatened with gay men. I yes, and, and women are more inclined to take relationship advice from their gay best friend yeah. than from other women. Because that woman has um, maybe ulterior motives. Oh, I think it's a bit Western though, because uh, that, that thought, I, I assume that the, the gay Western best friend, study. Yeah. No, no, I, not the gay best friend, because uh, about the, them not thinking that the gay person is a, is a threat. It's a very Western idea that, you know, the gay, somebody gay will not go for somebody straight that the woman mm. the woman likes, right? So, but here in the Philippines, the gays also go after the straight. So, so it's not necessarily that, you know, uh, a Filipina would have a gay best friend and think that this person is going to be, that this gay best friend is not going to go after the same guy. So, well, I know someone who's who? basically being harassed by a straight woman, like oh. a gay man. So. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, so, so the straight woman thinks she can fix yes. him. Yes. So it's scary. He's not permanently gay. Like she would always ask where the guy is, and if he, if she sees the guy with someone else, like she would go crazy and like. Ooh la la. So yeah. <laughs> so it could also go the other way around. At the same time, in the Philippines, we have all these um, uh, ideas about what is gay, what is not. Like, um, I've had many conversations where I say, na, well, si Kwan, you know, he's obviously gay. And they say, no, he's married with children. Oh. So, me and my friend Noel already have this shorthand where we say, here's the ghost of June Encarnacion <laughs> saying, ako naman ang example ng bakla na may isawa na anak. Uh-huh. So, so, what what would it take to change that? And of course, it's funny. So do we really want to change that? I mean, stereotypes are stereotypes because there's some truth. There's still anchored truth. There's, there's, to a certain Yeah, truth. there's some some truth to it, naman talaga. Um, now we're in the middle of the whole political correctness thing, which 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 started you know decades ago. But this is like political correctness central now, and I understand why PC is necessary. Mm. But, you know, sometimes it's a little bit much. Like, um, for instance, uh, whenever it's announced that a cisgender actor... And first, another definition. What is cisgender? Cisgender is when you identify as the sex you were assigned at birth. So if you were... Um, the doctor says that you're a girl and all your life you feel that you are a girl. And doctors have made mistakes. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because intersex people also exist. So... Um, this gender is when you identify as the person that your doctor, uh, like the, 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 the gender that, uh, that was assigned to you, like um, at birth. Trans, yeah. meanwhile, is when 
you do not exactly identify with um, the gender that was assigned to you. At so it's, it, it requires reassignment. Yeah. Yes. So um, there's always a controversy when a cisgender actor, for instance, Scarlett Johansson, mm -hmm. is signed on to play a trans person. You know, mm -hmm. she was supposed to play um, this, this, this famous personality who's a, who's a trans man. And there's always a big flap. Why is that? As in, doesn't hindi ba hindi ba yun nadadala ng acting? Isn't it like an acting challenge? Like Sean Penn won for uh, best actor for yep, playing for a gay man, etc. I think that's one thing. Um, one one perspective is like actors are actors and they can play whatever part it is that is required of them. On the other hand, um, we see a lot of trans actors who do not get jobs as well. And I think that when these um, roles that should be instead given to trans actors are given to cisgender actors, then it's kind of like um, in a way discrimination as well because there are a lot of trans You're actors. You're robbing them of their livelihood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but at the same time, you know, um, I didn't hear House of Protest when Army Hammer and Timothy Shadow yeah. Bay were, were cast in Call Me right, By right. Your Name and they're playing gay characters. So do you have any problem with that? No, not at all. I mean, <laughs> he can be gay with me. But, no. um, I, which one? Which one? Army or? Both. Both? Oh, okay. I, I won't mind. Um, I, I've, been, I've always um, looked at it both ways, similar to Evan. I think, um, let's say, like, compared to 20 years ago, when... Um, just the mere uh, idea of getting representation up on screen, you know, wasn't as big as. I mean, right now there there are a lot of movies about LG, but you know, like 20 years ago there weren't as many. So obviously, uh, that 20 years ago it was a time when it was just just getting representation up there is already was already a, a win. Pride. Exactly part of pride. So you know, and there weren't that many uh, actors or actresses who 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 were you know. LGBT or at least out, so you kind of started in that in that in that in that mold. We kind of started in that mold. Um, nowadays, though, uh, you know th there are, there are more opportunities and more people are you know are coming out. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity. But I think um, my take has always been that you know I, I it's okay for me for me personally that you know a straight guy plays a gay guy because you have gay guys playing straight yeah straight. Uh, Rules. As long as it goes both ways, I'm fine. And and the same way for for, for trans people, um, it's okay for me both ways. But you also have to give the trans women, for example, opportunities to play cis women. If you actually do that, uh, which then, is we're not seeing a lot. Of exactly, but the, that's true. But that's the problem there because we're not seeing a lot of that, and so uh, they also need to claim that space also. Mm -hmm. And ah. there's always that there's always the false notion that hey there aren't that many trans uh, people in in the industry but but you know actually there are aligned with that idea you can see like how in the Miss Universe we already have yes. um, a trans woman competing for the crown yes and Spain. we've seen a lot of um, people complaining about it especially here in um, the Philippines that they're saying that trans women are starting to encroach on the space um, where um, I guess like the natural. So it's the straight women who are yeah. complaining. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, and you know these are all very complicated, convoluted issues. And the problem is that if if the discussion is held on Twitter or yes. on Facebook, yeah. the nuance just vanishes like that. <laughs> exactly. So, now, um, one of the big news, uh, big news issues since late last year has been the Me Too movement. Mm. Now, I think we are still one of those countries where Me Too hasn't really taken hold. Have you heard of any um, sexual harassment cases being um, really big in the press, in the, uh, in the media, times. in recent times, in the Philippines? No, because if your top leader thinks that women, you know, are playthings, it's, it's a culture thing. So, there's not anything... Well, you know, it's true because... Um, Growing up, especially you know, for for little girls, um, we are taught or we see that if you are, if you are harassed, if somebody you know catcalls you or um, or if somebody you know tries to cop a mm -hmm. feel, it's supposed to be a compliment yep. to your which sad, attractiveness, which is, sad, right? which is just sad. So, let's start taking bets on when the Me Too movement is actually going to land in the Philippines. Unfortunately. It's gonna take a huge cultural shift. I mean, ideally, we'd want to get that in, but 
there are some pockets of places where it's starting, I guess. I mean, there's this uh, f- Facebook page called Cat Cat Called in the Philippines, where you know, where uh, women are sharing stories of you know being cat called or being harassed. So yes, and you know, um, uh, speaking for my cat, Drogon, um, I wouldn't call you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. So my, he he he's offended. That something as offensive as catcalling cat. is yeah, associated cats. with him. Although you know, I have to to say, um, in, in in the defense of Filipino culture, um, in many women's issues, we're really ahead. Yeah. Like there are more Filipino women CEOs mm-hmm. um, in in the Philippines yeah. than you know, in say um, even Americans or, 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 or the Japanese. But then you know, in, in something like uh, sexual harassment, you know, we're supposed to. Um, not just grin and bear it, but grin and say thank you. I think we're very traditional when it comes to that. We're very conservative still, and we tend to blame the woman instead of like holding the man accountable. Because you were dressing something. Yeah, like, you were wearing a low cut dress. You were actually yeah. inviting the harassment. You were actually. Ah, so <laughs> so we should all dress like handmade tail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we should all ha- have habits. Okay. As and if then... women have it, like um there were like women. Don't get raped, even if like they're exactly. dressed like that, <laughs> even if they're not maganda. Yeah. And and the thing is, the Me Too movement has really um, uh, taken off uh, all over the world. And um, in in the in the discussion, nuance is usually lost. Mm-hmm. And now we're look we're forced to look into the nuances of the Me Too movement mm-hmm. with the accusation that Asia Argento, who is one of their leading lights, may have had sexual congress with an underage boy. Mm-hmm and paid him off to stay silent. Yep. What's your view on this? It is a bit of a setback because, you know, uh, the op- people who oppose this, the Me Too movement, you know, will find, will try to find a chink in the armor of, you know, of, I mean, it's, it's a growing movement. So, and so it's kind of sad or difficult to, to, to have somebody represent you that, you know, is also doing it mm-hmm. or what had done it. Yes, but then it, uh, her, her defenders say that this highlights the fact that the people who are the, abused exactly. will become abusers themselves. Exactly, and that, that is a, that, that's a reality also. I think it's time we stop looking at heroes and yeah, really penalize is. the behavior instead of like actually celebrating the one. Well, of course, like the ones who come out um, deserve to be heard, but right. more than that, I think what we should look at is the behavior, the pro- the problematic the behavior that exists. Because everything like, we do is personality yeah. based. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, last question: What do you think is the 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 most serious problem that LGBT LGBT people have to face in the Philippines? Discrimination, still, I think. You personally have obviously not been discriminated yeah. against, but have you ever been discriminated against in your lives? I think experiencing microaggressions in some ways, um, like for example, being told that, oh, um, bakit ka bakla? Like, parang cute ka naman, or like, parang <laughs> sayang I'm sure ka. you can't that a that, oh. that is such a yeah. But then, you know, um, women also get that. Uh, yeah. Matalino ka naman, ganon. Yung parang, but, but wala kang asawa at anak. Yeah. So. I, I guess, like, um, growing up, I felt that I had to hide certain parts of me to be accepted and to climb up the corporate ladder. And I think... You um, mean you passed for straight at some point in your yes. life? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. But I don't disclose my relationships. And that's one of the things that I was actively um, doing. Like not disclosing if I was dating anyone. Not pretending that I was actually straight. And I guess like for straight people, like you didn't have to experience that. Like you can go on... Facebook or whichever. Yeah, because yeah, like, my point people. is, you know, a lot of people would say that, well, they get discriminated against not because they're gay, but because they're poor and uneducated. Well, um, yeah. so uh, they would say that if you were, um, if you were from 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 the middle class and you were educated, you're not going to experience that same mm. hassle. Yeah, we do have a certain level of privilege, I would say, but it, it, it's not entirely, you know, we're not entirely free of any form of discrimination. So, were you bullied in high school for being gay? Yes, uh, probably not as bad as maybe you know somebody from yeah. a different school because uh, uh, their date was still a private all boys Jesuit school. But um, yes, there was still some level of bullying. Plus, uh, were you bullied? I was bullied. I refused to follow the template of what us 
a guy should be like in high school and there's that need i guess for like um in schools especially in high schools elementary that you have to be um a fan of basketball or you have to well yeah well girls. i went to philippine science which is um theoretically full of nerds and i was bullied for being a nerd so <laughs> well, so bullying is but, you, but, you, but yeah. then you know people say now see if you weren't bullied then you wouldn't become a writer what the fuck <laughs> so suffering is necessary it, it made you strong <laughs> so I, i i don't get that but i'm guessing you get harassed by a lot of women Well, <laughs> <laughs> as in, as in, people, women have had illusions. Come well, on, I've been used tell us, tell as, us. Uh, like Sam Milky. I've been used <laughs> as um a way for um other men to be jealous. So, Ooh, like, and okay. like a sexual accessory of some sort. Aha, uh-huh, so you're not just a handbag. <laughs> you're a vibrator. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, not to complain naman like because well, some of these women are close friends. But then again, like there's that layer of I guess microaggression in a way as well. You get mistaken for a straight guy. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. I mean, so so what do you do when that happens? You say, "Ah, oh, pare." <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't. I don't really mind. But then, um, if I, if I, I mean, especially at work, especially normally when I when I start a new place, you know, people don't really think about. Lo, lo, I just assume that I'm straight, even with, with uh, even if you know, um, there are signs. But but when they ask, I, I I I tell them. So I don't really have an issue. Yeah, but I think we would be um remiss in our duties if. Uh, we didn't use this opportunity to tell all the people in the closet to please come out. So go on, address the audience. <laughs> tell them to come out. Well, every person who comes out actually for uh makes the movement stronger. But I wouldn't force anyone yeah. to come out. I I I, I, I still think. But it's so dark in the closet. Well, it's, well yeah. if you're so far in the closet, you can see dark. But some people also experience um certain levels of. Yeah discrimination that they cannot exactly I mean like coming out would um, prevent them from right. um, gaining privilege it, as well in life it's, so it's their safety blank yeah when I was younger I, I have to admit let's say literally high school or college like oh god these people everybody just get out of the closet <laughs> but then when you grow older and then you you gain more experiences uh, so you don't believe in um, dragging people out of the closet yes. the only people I would drag out of the closet are the people who are Evil, like you know, they're they're, they're like you know, I don't know, using, homophobic, you know, homophobic or exactly the, people who are you know. Yes, because isn't there a direct link between um, homophobia, homophobia and, and a lot of the times, correct? I'm not of, saying everything, but yeah. a lot of the times, yes. There are ho- homophobic people who are afraid of like seeing a mirror. Exactly, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like that bench, like that bench uh, billboard, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, like that's a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a mirror, but you know what I want. <laughs> no, but um. I think I know the answer to my own question. Why are 90% of my friends, you guys included, gay? I think it's because we're all bitches. Bitches. And what are bitches for? <laughs> But to bitch around with other bitches. Oh, so so this is our, our, our turn to start quoting from Temptation Island. Okay, so you go first. Oh, oh God. Um, my favorite, of course, is Azinid. I'm a crook. A dumb good crook, <laughs> and I can tell another crook when I see one. And what is she doing with that thing, with her mouth open? And <laughs> well, well, I like my favorite character is Joshua. I said, "Oh my God, this is even worse than my trip to Tanganyika." What has Tanganyika ever done to him? <laughs> Yo. Walang pagkain, walang tubig. Of course. <laughs> Which I think sums up the Philippines. Yes. Walang tubig, walang kuryente, walang pagkain. Magsayo na lang tayo. And, and 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 the magic um cassette player yeah. with with batteries that exactly. never ran out so i guess they were Destiny carrying pissing. batteries in their bras <laughs> yeah so um temptation island or nympha I temptation did, island i didn't get to see nympha so. oh, but okay. i still need to see nympha again snooki or maricel maricel i've always been maria fan ever since maricel and how do you feel about um news that uh, a sequel to underage is being made oh, I heard about that. I want to watch that. They they say it's gonna be titled Overage with the original cast, but I think <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. I read that. Yeah, yeah, but I think I think I'm not sure, but I just read that uh, Maricel and Dina are open to it. But I think it's no use. Like, 
po. But, but that's <laughs> her <laughs> image, diba? She's going to um, think it over. Okay. So, uh, and then um, for, for the older generation of, of, of movie queens, mm -hmm. uh, Rita Gomez or Celia Rodriguez? Celia, because she's right. I think she was the one who said, um, Ginigino ako. Magsunog ng alipin. So, <laughs> that, that, that Rita Gomez or Celia Rodriguez? Celia. Celia Rodriguez. Really? Like, like, so, am I the kalaban only sa, Rita sa fan here? <laughs> no, I like Rita, but it's, Celia is just... You cannot not like her because she will eat you. Like, Rita Gomez, how can you be? Napakaligaya ko. Gusto kong bum bumili ng balloon at paputokin ng isa-isa. Ah. Session 2. <laughs>